Yeah, so this isn't gonna be a fun one. Just so you know. What's going on everybody? This is Travis from Candid at the Movies and today I will be reviewing the newly released film known as Till. Now this movie does have a great cast and it stars Danielle Deadweiler, Whoopi Goldberg, Jalen Hall, and Sean Patrick Thomas. Now if you don't know about this film, this is basically from the perspective of Emmett Till's mother, Mammy Till who is basically dealing with the loss of her 14-year-old son due to allegations of him whistling at a white woman in 1955. And you basically see how she takes this loss and how she goes to get how she goes to want to get justice for her son. Now, I will go ahead and say it. I've known about the Emmett Till story for so long. I knew about Mammy Till as well. But this is kind of one of those films to where a majority of people are not going to want to watch this. No matter the race, you, it's a touchy subject. A lot of people don't want to see about black kids getting killed. And more than anything... This is fairly recent, like 1955 is not that long ago, so it's a lot to take in as a movie itself. I can't, I can't lie, it was a lot to take in to watch it. But the one thing about this film is it's actually good. Like, you get to see the love of a mother for her son and his son and a son loving his mother and just wanting to make her happy. And compared to a lot of other movies that are kind of like this, you really don't get that. You're more so getting the movie of, all right, here's this person. We're going to let you in a little bit of how they are. And bam, the death happens. And look how sad this is. Um, With this movie, you get that, but it's not dwelled on. Like, more than anything to me, I feel like this showed how more than anything his mother pushed on and you can't you got to commend a woman that does something like that because it's it's gut-wrenching heart-wrenching and it's a beautiful thing like danielle deadwiler if she's not nominated for some movies that's an injustice not as a black person but an injustice as an actress because she commanded the screen for the handful of roles i've seen her in she did an amazing job. I feel the director did an awesome job as well. I haven't seen... This is my first movie seen by this director. Her name is Chiwone Chiku. I probably butchered that, so I do apologize. But I feel she did an amazing job, and it makes me want to see more stuff that this director has or is getting ready to do. I feel this is a really good film. One of the better films put out there. Like, it's... It's not going to be for everybody. I'll go ahead and say that. you. In one thing that's not spoiling the movie, you do not see the killing of Emmett Till. It is a PG-13 movie. So that kind of won me over because I knew I wasn't going to... If I was going to see it, I, I was going to be done watching the movie. It probably wouldn't have had a review. But the fact they didn't do it, you just see the act of them taking him. That, that was enough. You didn't need to see anymore. You didn't need to see all the stuff that does happen. If you don't know about the Emmett Till story, his mother kept the casket open just so everyone could see what happened to him. And the fact, the fact they didn't glorify showing off that body like that, it was, it was commending and it made me respect that. Um... As you see, I'm still a little taken aback by this movie because even though I saw it like two hours ago, I'm still not there yet. 
Um, I will say more than anything that I feel this film needs to be seen. In all honesty, I know there's people going to be like, I don't want to see these slave movies. I don't want to see this or that. Especially like the, the camp of people that were out going against Woman King. I'd like to hear what y'all are going to say bad about this movie because there's nothing bad about it. Just like there was nothing bad about Woman King. Um, I'm going to just cut it short and just say no matter your race, if you love your children and don't want anything bad to happen to them, this is a movie I feel that will just reinforce that to yourself. That you don't want anything bad to happen to your children and you just want to protect them and be strong as this woman was. Um, this movie's A. It's, it's a really great film. The replay value is probably going to be the tough part. We're going to see how that is in a couple of months if it's something people will want to see again, especially it comes award season. If this gets a lot of awards, it's going to be a lot of people that are going to be like, uh, I don't know if I want to support it, but you should. But by all means, my name is Travis. This is Candidate at the Movies. We'll see y'all at the next one.